Alex. There we go. All right. Um, if you guys have any questions, just uh, raise your hand, and uh, either myself or another teacher will uh, mention that you guys have a question. Well, let's get started right away. So here is the art workbook. I'm just going to go over what we've gone over so far, and then we will uh, see what we're doing next. So what we talked about so far was the elements of art. After that, we went over the principles of design, and we did an example of one of them on the other side. And then last week, we did talk about lettering by using some examples shown here on the page. And we used it, you even did like a little tutorial of how to do bubble lettering. And then I taught you guys how to do other different types of lettering as well here. So it was really cool and fun to learn. So with that said, if you flip the page over once more to the current one that we're supposed to do today, it's the color wheel. So now you guys understand why I asked you guys to have colors today. Because we're going to be uh, we're going to be completing this right now. So what we're normally used to is seeing a color wheel that looks like this, and only has six colors. But this one's more advanced. This one has twelve. The reason why it has twelve instead of six is because it has the tertiary colors in this color wheel as well. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do: make sure when you guys have this color wheel project or this worksheet, um, we will be flipping back and forth from this page and this page. That way we get both done. So that way it's a little bit easier. So if you don't have this packet, a uh, blank sheet of paper works just as fine. So I did it last class. So here's my blank sheets of paper. I did a color wheel. And then I did the other handout on a blank sheet of paper like this. Otherwise, uh, just watching the video today and just being here uh, is all I can ask for. So I'm glad you guys are here. All right, so let's get started. Color wheel. You guys need the primary colors first. Primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Make sure you guys take these out. I'm going to go ahead of you guys and start filling in this color wheel with the correct colors. So the first one is red. The next color is yellow, if I go around clockwise. And the next one is blue. Okay. And the reason why I want to keep flipping back and forth is to save time because if I have these colors out already and I didn't put them away, I might as well finish the next page. So if I just turn this page over and the first question says, please fill out these boxes with the primary colors, well, that's perfect because I already have them out. So why don't I fill these boxes in right away? So over here we got red. Next up, I got yellow. And then next up, I got blue. So that way, I have a little bit of this next page done. And then I have the current page caught up. So now I can put these away if I need to. So I can put away these primary colors. I don't need any more. All right. Before I keep going, does anyone have any questions? No? It's pretty simple today. We're just filling out a color wheel and going over what colors are what. All right, so I'm going to keep going. Can you stop me for a sec so I can copy it? Oh, I'm sorry. Here, why don't I do this? Are you copying the color wheel, Grace? All right, here we go. I'm just going to pause real quick. Uh, for those of us who are still going, what I want you guys to do while I hold this up, I want you guys to get the next colors, which are the secondary colors. The secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. Green, orange, and purple. And the correct spots to put them are pretty simple. You never want to put them next to a color or next to a color. That was from the old color wheel, which was this one right here. But we're not doing the old color wheel. We're doing the new one. Because there's six more colors that we gotta talk about. So the orange would go right here. All right. So I'm trying to cop. I'm trying to color while I'm holding the paper up so people can see it. All right. I'm gonna put the orange crayon aside because I'm gonna need it later. The next color is green, and it goes down below. It's directly at six o'clock on this color wheel. The green's at six o'clock, and then violet goes on this section right here between blue and red, right there. So now you should have the secondary colors and the primary colors down on this color wheel. 
and there should be a white space in between every single one of them. Okay. I am going to put this uh, worksheet down just so I can move around a little better. All right. Remember what I said? Uh, it, it's a lot easier if you guys have these crayons out. So since I have these crayons out, I might as well fill in the next portion on the next page. So the secondary colors were orange, green, and violet. There we go. So now I can probably put these away. I'm going to tell you guys a secret in a little bit. If you don't have the tertiary colors. All right. If you guys didn't know, the tertiary colors, there's about six of them. And when the naming scheme is for the tertiary colors, it's very simple. So say, for instance, the color between red and orange. Yeah, go ahead, Anne. The color between red and orange, it's just called red orange. The color between blue and violet is just called blue violet. So the naming scheme is very easy. There's no new colors that they've called it. But they'll look very similar to certain colors. You'll notice that right away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my tertiary colors that I have particularly right here. And then later on, I'll teach you guys what to do if you guys do not have these colors either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joseph, go ahead. Or Joey, go ahead. All right, so here we go. So the first one is red and orange. In between here, it's called red orange, so it looks kind of like this. The next one, between orange and yellow, that's called yellow-orange, looks like this. Between yellow and green, it's called yellow-green, looks kind of like a lime color. So if you have a crayon or colored pencil or marker that says lime, like that. Green and blue equals blue-green. So if you have a color that says teal or like indigo, it's very similar. Or not indigo, I'm sorry. Just teal color. It was kind of like that. All right, blue and violet makes blue-violet. It was kind of like a dark purple. And last but not least, between the violet and the red is a red-violet. And it looks kind of like a magenta color. Kind of like that. And again, since you have these tertiary colors out, you might as well go to the next page and fill in those six blocks with the following crayons. Now, before I get started, say, for instance, Mr. Mill, I don't have these particular colors at hand. You guys should know what to do. If I just combined the primary and secondary colors together, you will be able to complete it perfectly fine. So if I'm trying to find this color right here, which is a yellow orange, if I don't have that crayon or if I don't have that color, I just gotta do what it says. So basically a yellow orange is yellow and orange mixed together. So I literally just mixed it together and boom, done. So that's one way you can do it. So my next color I need probably is red orange or no, probably not red orange. Uh, there you go, yellow green. All I gotta do is get my yellow and then cover it with a little bit of green. So if you don't have the tertiary colors, um, combining colors works completely fine. So I'm gonna keep going by filling this whole thing out. Um, let's see, the next one I'm gonna do is blue green, followed by blue violet, followed by red violet, and then red orange. There we go. So that portion of the workbook is completely done for me. And if you guys just got the uh, color wheel done for today, this one right here, that's all I can ask for, which is great. So if you guys got- Can you show the stuff, other page? Yeah, give me one sec. I can. Um, if you guys just have the color wheel done, that's great. Miss, Mr. Mill. Here's the other page right here. Can you tell us the colors for the- um? Uh, temper, temporary thing again. That the ones you just did the like names of them, like the colors that we need. Because I, I can't. I didn't finish when you were saying them. You mean the tertiary colors? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, if you guys didn't know, they're right over here on the color wheel. I'll circle them for you. The tertiary colors are red orange, yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, blue violet, and red violet right there. And as fourth graders, you guys know the official color wheel now, which is great. So we're not in third grade or second grade anymore where we know the easy color wheel. We now know the more advanced one now. There we go. All right, the time now is 12.57. Um, I don't want you guys to fill in this bottom half yet. This is going to take us another class to finish. So I know you guys know your warm and cool colors already. Uh, and I know you guys know your rainbow colors already. Um, if you want to jump ahead, only do the rainbow one. If you guys don't know what the rainbow one is, we learned it from second grade from the Parrot Project. It's Roy G. Biv. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. I wrote it down so I don't forget. But we'll do this part next time because we're going to run out of time and I got to jump to fifth grade soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my camera around. You guys can see me. And then I'm going to say goodbye in a little bit. Uh, with that said, I'm going to turn off this recording. I'll make sure it goes to the correct person.